guys, I'm here opening up my Finfolk Tale of the Month Plastic Cleo. <laughs> I know a lot of you don't know that I wear glasses, but it's Saturday, and I figured to just not worry about contacts, but apparently I did. Oh well. Man, this box is like real tight. But it's fine. At least it's secure. Got the little scale mail sticker. That I'm sure you've seen on something just happened with my bunny. Um, you know, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. He's probably fine. <laughs> There's the scale mail sticker. I've been waiting for this forever. <laughs> the box is so big, I didn't think it would flip over like that. Okay. Oh my god. She looks gorgeous. I can already see the color from here. Like, y'all can see that, right? Oh my god. I'm so excited. She already has a vinyl in. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, I'll take her out. The things are huge. Oh my god. Holy shit. I did not expect that. Okay. And I got my own little sticker. I'm a thin folk mermaid. Okay. This is like the tail care sheet. Continue from front, of course. I have it backwards. Putting on your tail, tail care, safety, and about Finfolk Productions. All of that noise. Okay, I don't care about this box anymore. And the receipt, which is nice. My boyfriend got it for me. I probably shouldn't hold up the receipt because that has an address on it. But, oh my god, it smells new. <laughs> I haven't had a new tail. This one is actually given to me, well, I bought it, third hand. It came from one of the southern states, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm not good at this in my... This is her. I just, I need to be in awe for a second. She, it feels so much different than the old material. The old material is, it's coarse. You can probably even see it. See, like this, this looks soft. It just looks soft. And then you see this and, I mean, you can hear it. So, if you ever need to know the difference between Thin folk tail and a new thin folk tail. They feel different, first of all. Oh, okay. What is this? It's like Velcro on the inside. Let me. Okay, we'll get to the fins. I just. Where's the zipper? Is it on the other side? Guys. Guys, I can't. I can. Barely see the zipper. Okay. I just look at this. You can barely see this. You can barely see the zipper. And then look at my other one. Where is it? I mean, the zipper is pretty. You can see it. Pretty pronounced. So that's a huge improvement from the old tails. If you're deciding between a used old tail and a new tail. I couldn't find it. Okay, now I have to repeat it again. Okay, opening it up. This feels lighter than the other one, too. Maybe it's just because I have the monofin in the other one. Make it stand up a little better. Um, wow. See, mine when it came third hand, didn't come with these, because usually there's screws in the old ones. This one, it looks like has Velcro, which is interesting. And it, you know what? I kind of like it better. It's, it's probably...
probably easier to keep track of. And if you need to replace it, it'll look better. Because I know I lose shit all the time. Um, ooh, there's even one in the middle here. You can see that. There's one in the middle. Which, maybe my other one does. But, I mean, the screws in the other one are just so small. I don't, I didn't really pay attention to them. And I didn't really need to move them. But wow. Okay. So now, we'll take a full look at this tail. We'll start with this. Look at those colors. I mean, the, the, the brightness in this room isn't really, really good. But, oh my god, it's just so vibrant. And the way it fades... See if I can back up, show you guys. This is gonna be a perfect freshwater tail for me. And I'll show you all of my accessories. Well, I'm in the process of making my top. My top is almost done. It just needs beads hanging down from it. I might be able to go get that. Um, okay, now, let's look, look at the fins. I know the fins for fin folk is new. And I really wanna see so that's part of the dorsal fin. This, oh, it has ribbing in it. See? It's right there. That's pretty cool. I know on the forms we weren't sure if it was going to have ribbing or not. But look at this. Look at how big this... It's bigger than my head. It's literally, like, bigger than my head. This is state fair shit right here. Like cream puffs as big as your head. Oh, and I got the tag. I love these tags. I've always wanted one of these tags. I know it's like a small thing to worry about, but I don't know. I really like the company. So I'll just hold this up with the fin. Ooh, I got the dorsal in there. Okay. So the dorsal looks like that. I don't know. It's kind of hard. The dorsal is also really big. I mean, it's... I like it. I kind of regret not getting um, the hip fins on my Claire de Lune. But I do like it without hip fins. I don't know. It's just personal because I think it just looks so sleek, especially with the Luna fluke. But that's just me. Anyway. Um... So, I could put this on, but I do have this on. So, I will make another video swimming in it, putting it on, doing pictures, the works that's going to happen tomorrow in front of the cherry blossom trees on one of my horses. My, my personal horse, Dora, is what I'm going to use. She's what we call sorrel. It's... She's like bronzy, especially in the summer, but she's transitioning from winter to summer. I don't know, horse stuff. She, just, she doesn't look as bronzy. She'll look better, and I'll take more pictures with her when she's like really shiny, because I put a little bit, bit of um, oil in her grain when I give it to her. Now I'm just geeking out about horses. Anyway, let's move on to this. So this right here is my homemade antler crown, and I made this from um, antlers that one of my friends have generously donated to me. Um, I haven't been able to go hunting since I was in college. I just got out of college in December. Um, so hopefully I'll be getting more bucks and maybe I can take commissions um, for you more northern murs because I know a lot of southern murs have like these shell tops and you know all these shell crowns but you just don't find that in the north and I want to be a little more um, uh, compatible to northern mermaids. So if you wanted a commission just message me. My bunny is running around up here and he's going to create havoc but whatever. Maybe he'll come and say hi. Um, so yeah anyway so I made it I just glued the antlers together and these are Wisconsin's flowers, the, uh, the violet, the 
violet, violet, the purple, violet, whatever. Um, and it, it is really heavy because it's, it's antlers. Um, but I did form it to my head. I don't have any of those fancy mannequins, anything like that. I'm still going to figure out what it was. Um, but yeah, sometimes it fits and sometimes it doesn't. Like when I'm wearing a big ass freaking braids in my hair. Anyway, so that's what that's going to look like. Hopefully it's not going to stop like that. I'll fix that. I'll fix it. Um, but yeah, no, I really like this. And then I'll have my, uh, my bleach blonde wig too. A lot of people do orange on orange on orange with this tail. And I don't think that's me. Orange is cool. Orange is, orange is good for when you're hunting. Orange is great so you don't get shot. But I just want something different. So I'm going with white and silver with this tail. Because I, I don't want to go with the main body of the tail. I want to go with the accents of the tail. Um, okay. So I showed you that. I don't know. What else, what else do you guys want to see? I'll also include a swimming video soon. Um, with Serena's new tail coming out, it's going to be about Serena and how to swim like uh, the Singapore mermaid, Singapore's first mermaid. Um, her tail is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't seen it, go over to Fin Folk Productions. It's pink. It's not really my style, um, just because I like the more, more earthy tones, I say, as I have purple and pink and blue that's like never found in nature up there whatever um but yeah i really hope finfo comes out with another freshwater tail because that would be really that would be really cool but yeah oh my gosh this new fabric is so soft i almost feel like my rough hands are gonna like catch on it but yeah you will see horsey photos and I'll also take photos on a bridge if I don't, like, fall on my face in the water and die. That would probably be amusing to some people, but I don't particularly feel like it today. Just today. Um, but yeah, I love this tail. And thank you so much for coming to my unboxing. I think I might put it on and see how it fits. And I'll update you guys.